I have received a lot of questions about display calibration and the use of ICC or ICM profile. When to switch them when you choose the different color modes on the display and what is the best practice for us to approach this? Let's find out together. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. For this guide, I will focus on BenQ SW Hardware Calibrated Display Line. If you'd like to see a guide like this for software calibrated display, I will release that later on. The display that I have here is the SW270C, however the methods that I'm going to share here will work for all BenQ SW displays as well. Also, before we start our calibration process, there are settings that we have to turn off at the operating system level on both Mac and PC. This applies for both hardware and software calibration. I'll put a link to those videos in the description below. Check them out before you run the calibration. This way you can get the best result possible. The other thing that I want to cover as well is that the software that I'll be using to calibrate the BenQ SAB display is Palette Master Element. And I want to be absolutely clear that Palette Master Element is designed to calibrate SW display only. If you have another BenQ display line, such as the PD line, it will show up in Palette Master Element. However, the program itself won't be able to calibrate any of those other displays. So just so that we're clear on that one. That being said, one of the more common questions I get about hardware calibration in general is what profile do I set in the operating system before I start the calibration? The answer to that is nothing. Leave it at the default because before the program goes into the calibration process or the process where it was measuring all the color patches, it's automatically going to apply a linear profile to the system. This way you're not getting any biased colors before it runs the calibration, so you're set there. The follow-up to this question is then, so what color mode do I set on my BenQ SW Hardware Calibrated Display before I run the calibration? Well, you don't need to set anything because in Palette Master Element, if you choose a different calibration slot, you will notice that briefly your display is going to flicker and sometimes you get the spinning beach ball because the program is changing the hardware calibration slot on the display automatically. So you don't have to choose any slots beforehand, you don't have to choose any color mode, it will automatically do that for you as part of the calibration process using Palette Master Element. Another common misconception that I want to address about a hardware calibrated display is that you still need an ICC or an ICM profile to accompany the display calibration. Even though all the calibration data is stored on the display itself, those ICC or ICM profile will contain the gamut output information so that the video card knows what color gamut to send to the display so that it corresponds to the calibration data that is stored in the panel. This is different than the software calibrated display where the software calibrated display ICC profile will also contain color mapping. On a hardware calibrated display, there is no color mapping at all, just the gamut information. Another common question that I receive is when to change the ICC profile on a hardware calibrated display. Well, if you switch between the different calibration slots, for instance, if I'm going between slot one to slot two, calibration two, and to calibration three, anytime I switch between these calibration slots, I should technically go into the system preferences on my computer, display, color, and also change the ICC profile so that it corresponds to the calibration slot two. This way, the calibration data or the output gamut data matches perfectly with the calibration data that's stored on the display. There are some exceptions to this rule and that exception being if you have calibrated, for instance, calibration slot one like I'm doing here and calibration slot two to a different luminance, provided all the other settings are the same, the same RGB primary setting. For instance, my slot one is calibrated panel native to 80 candela. Slot two is calibrated panel native 220 candela, so it's slightly brighter. You can certainly test this yourself or simply watch what I'm about to show you now. I'm in calibration slot one, and this is calibrated to 80 candela. If I choose the ICC profile for calibration slot two that's calibrated to 120 with panel native, you will see that there are no color changes on the display at all. However, if I go to choose a different ICC profile, for instance, with another RGB primary, let's say Adobe RGB, you will see that the colors change slightly. If I choose another one to really show you the drastic difference, sRGB, you can see that the color changes drastically there. However, if I go back to between 120, the calibration slot two, 
and calibration slot 1, you can see that the ICC profile doesn't really change the gamut on the display at all because it's outputting the same panel native gamut to the calibration profile on the display. So this can save you some time if you're calibrating to the same RGB primary. However, if you have calibrated each individual slot, for example, slot 1 to panel native, slot 2 to Adobe RGB, and slot 3 to sRGB, when you switch between those slots, you would manually have to go in and change the ICC profile so that it matches with the calibration data on each of the slots on the display. The last question has to do with the pre-calibrated color mode on the BenQ SW displays and what ICC profile to choose. These displays come with many color modes, Adobe RGB, Rec Cinema 9, sRGB, Display P3, and Book, just to name a few. There are many other color modes. However, if you choose one of these color modes on the display, let's say you choose Adobe RGB, what profile should you choose in your computer operating system? One thing that you can do is choose the reference Adobe RGB. However, your computer is not really outputting full Adobe RGB signals, so the colors that you're going to see is not necessarily going to be accurate. If you really want to be accurate in these preset color modes, what you can simply do is use the software that comes with your calibration device to run a software calibration in each one of these color modes. And if you switch between these color modes, well obviously what you have to do then is manually go in and switch the ICC profile in your computer OS. And if you have any other programs running such as Photoshop or any color aware program, what you need to do is quit those programs completely and relaunch it so that it will take on the new ICC profile so that you're seeing the correct colors. Now that you have the answers to those questions, I'd like to share you my final thought about switching between different color modes on the display. I understand that many of us have a workflow that requires us to proof in different color modes or in different color space, and I greatly appreciate that. However, what I like to do though is advise you to trust the color mode that you're using, to trust the calibration that you have, because once you do that, it will minimize a lot of what you really need to do to switch those color modes. And the other thing too is the more times you have to switch between different color modes and you have to switch the accompanying ICC profile, the more prone to mistake that can happen. That means that you could switch to a different color mode entirely and forget to change the ICC profile and you've done an entire edit and all those edits are done in the color mode with the wrong ICC profile. And you definitely don't want to do that because that means you have to go in and re-edit everything again. So personally for me, what I do for all these BenQ SW displays is calibrate them to 80 Candela using panel native and that is pretty much it. The standard setting that I have been recommending in all my videos and that is the only color mode that I use on all these displays. I use this setting to edit all of my photos for any of my clients that I have and I also use these settings to edit this video that you're also viewing right now as well. So what I would encourage you to do is trust the calibration that you have and work with that calibration and see if you can get good color throughout because I have made a video on how to match different displays together and also how to match these displays to a cell phone or tablet displays and why you should not do that. I'll leave those links to the videos in the description below. However, it's a bad idea because all the displays out there are going to have different settings on them. And if you try to match this, what you're seeing here, to any of the other displays, you're really opening a large can of worms. So if you can calibrate this once and have one really good calibration setting, you know that at any given point in time, if everything is neutral or if somebody is running on a fully calibrated system, they're going to see the work that's very similar to what you're seeing on your display when you were working on it. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload new videos like this. And until next time, artist right.